Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great. As always, please check out the description box, all the nice links, Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Today, I'm going to talk about and fix this whole issue we're having with pushing states from other states. Okay, so it's kind of a complicated issue, um, but still not that complicated all we have to do is we have to send a bunch of stuff in or actually not a bunch of stuff actually just one thing through all the states so all the states keep track of this one main universal big stack of states so any state can push any other state onto this big universal stack and our beautiful universal stack is in game so this is our state stack okay so Anytime you push a state on here, it's going to start updating that new state. So imagine a main menu pushing the game state onto the stack saying, okay, now we're just going to use the game state. So we're going to update the game state. And if that game state is removed from the top of the stack, main menu state is going to be on the top again. So that, then that's going to be updating. Now we're going to solve some issues with this. We have some issues with the buttons and stuff uh, clicking too many times. So we might end all the states instead of just one and so on and so on so but we're gonna fix all that as we go on uh, but let's just get started so we have our universal state stack here uh, what we're gonna do is in our state.h okay we're just gonna close everything else except that yeah there we go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say std stack state so of itself the same class as its itself basically so it's going to have a state, a stack of state pointers, just like we had in game. So I'm going to go a little slow so you understand. So it's going to be exactly like this, basically. It's just that this is the original. So every state's not going to be a copy of that. It's going to actually point to that original. So we're going to do a, another pointer symbol here. So it's a pointer to a stack full of state pointers, basically. So and I'm just going to call it states just as as usual. So there we go. Now we have a way to save that universal state stack in each state. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to copy this because it's a whole handful to type. Can you say that? Handful to type. Uh, I don't care. I'm going to say it because it sounds, sounds uh, legit. So there you go. Now you have your thing, state stack pointer going into every one of these beautiful uh, constructors. And then I'm going to say this states equals states simple as that boom easy peasy so now each state's going to get a pointer just like that and this is um it's crying and it's crying and crying because i never put it in here so you go i just pasted all that in and we're good to go so pretty much good to go okay uh it should stop complaining yes so that's state taken care of pretty much um and to Go on from there. We're going to go into main menu state.h. Just going to click on it. I'm going to put it into the constructor here in the h file. And the cpp file, going to do the same thing. Find the constructor right here. Put it in here. Okay. Uh, and then, am I even recording? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, I need to send it in here to the original constructor, base class constructor. Put that in there in game state. And put it in there in game state.cpp and send it in. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Mm, good shit. So, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Let's go into main menu state.cpp and look at what we're doing here. Okay, so this is where I tried to push. That thing when this game state button is pressed. Uh, oh, what what main menu state? Now this is just for our own debugging kind of thing here. So it's it's cool. We'll keep this so we see which state's ending and which one is starting, basically. Um, and it loads the fonts here and everything. I did see another problem with having this. Um, this thing here because if we don't bind close to something we're gonna have an issue now i'm gonna go in here my sfml rpg and i'm just gonna look 
quickly because I don't remember in config game state key binds. And I'm just going to copy paste that and I'm going to call it. I'm going to actually just call it main menu state key binds. And I'm going to edit that with sublime text. Uh, close is going to be escape and we're not going to have any other key binds here. Okay. Let's close that. Um, and it's going to do that. Now I just want to make sure we load the right thing here. Main menu state key binds. Okay. So that's cool. All right. So that's, that's good. Now in game, go to game.cpp. Just close everything else. Okay. Go in here in its states. Now it's going to complain. Now we need to send this states as a pointer here or the address of states. Uh, so we're just going to do this since states itself is just a regular stack. We need to give it the, uh, the address of it, send the address into the pointer in the states class, which is going to hold it. Mm, so we can access it, uh, access that later. So I'm going to push a main menu state with all this stuff, all this crap. Uh, now this uh, will be included or come into the main menu state. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. I just, I'm so slow. Had a long day. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So it, it, it's sent in here and it's kind of saved. So I can access that main states anywhere I want. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to remove this. And since it's a pointer, I'm going to do the pointer symbol here for push. So I'm going to push something onto that game's the state stack in uh, in game uh, and it's going to be a game state okay now i did include game state in main menu state.h okay there you go um so we're gonna have to have play around with these uh, includes because it's going to be kind of tough remembering where everything is included mm, and we want to keep track of that because it's going to be a big game and we're going to have a lot of compilation time if we don't include stuff correctly uh, anyway, go back here, go back here, and then we're just going to do this states because remember, we need to send in the state stack into the next, uh, into the next, uh, state that we're pushing. So we're going to send in the pointer to the window, pointer to the supported keys and pointer to states. And there you go. Boom, bada bing. We're good. Uh, I should be able to run this hopefully. And if I do. If I do, we should be fine. Come on, baby. You can do it. There you go. So now we have our new game and our quit. Look at this beautiful main menu, though. There you go. So I push the game state onto the stack. And that means that we are good to go. So I press new game and the game started, basically. And if I press escape, everything will be exited and quitted. Um, because escape is the universal quit for all of these because because when I press it here there is nothing to check um, for this to only be pressed once it's, it's gonna be pressed you know that's that little little fraction of a second I press the button is gonna count as like 10 uh, button presses okay so it's just gonna press all those in and it's gonna go crazy and all that crap so that's why it closes all the states at once but we'll we'll fix that uh, eventually uh, with some kind of key timer or something like that, which it should be fine, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, but I need to, I need to kind of keep going with all the other stuff before we do that. So there you go. Now we can press all that stuff. Let me just see if this, um, if this. Let me see if this uh, actually runs in release as well. There you go. You do want to try to run your stuff and release some uh, from uh, time to time, because that's where you're gonna play your game. Basically, you don't you want all the optimization from the compiler and all that stuff if you use release. If you're on Linux or something, um, you want to probably you want to probably what do you call it? Uh, use the O2 optimization when you compile this for release. So there you go, debug and all that stuff working states is being sent in so i hope you followed me on that it's, it's kind of complicated um 
just like I said, but still not. <laughs> if you kind of think about it carefully, you're just sending this main state array or stack through all the states and each state will keep track of this and you can push stuff onto it if you want. So pretty much there you go. So in, in the next video, probably we're going to talk about some more cool stuff. So maybe not designing the main menu really, maybe just maybe just fixing some stuff. For example, if we go in here, this check for quit, like I said, it is universal for each one of these states. And I probably don't want that. I want each state to define its own way to quit. Um, quit the state. Okay, so maybe it's a special button. Maybe it's something like that. Um, uh, and that, that will make sure we quit the game. Or we'll, we won't have this at all. So I just have to think about that a little more before I make the second video or the next one. Uh, but for now, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for following. Sorry about me being so tired today, just babbling on. Um, but I hope you learned something. I hope this was cool. Now we can push states on states, all that stuff. Um, keep working hard, I guess. Thanks for all the support. Check out the description box. Subscribe, drop a like, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.